Okay, welcome. We're on session 23 and we're going to work in my driveway and we've got a few exercises for you. I'm going to bring out the ladder and do a couple of exercises with you on the ladder. So the first exercise we're going to do is side to side lateral bounds. The key with the side to side lateral bounds is you want to activate again the ankle, knee and the hips. Have good balance and have a good lateral push off. You want to land and be strong and stick before you come back. So the first one here is not a speed drill where you're trying to go side to side really fast. You want to leap, land, control, toe touch if you need to to balance, and then come back to the ladder. So we're going to go to the right first. The second rule of thumb is that when you're doing these, if you're standing in the ladder and you take one large step out, not a giant step, but just a little bit longer than a normal step, if you're first doing it, that's your mark. So for me, I take a step out. If I have tried this before, that's my first mark. So I'd come to here, land, hold, come back to the next rung. Once I land and hold and stick, I maintain good balance and then push off. Always remember to arms guide, legs drive. If this is comfortable and you're feeling pretty strong and have good balance, you can go outside your marker and go a little bit further. Land again, come back. And you notice that when I'm doing this and I land and I'm pushing and holding and then I drive up and I drive through that motion to get a nice strong leap to the other side. So I would go to the right all the way up and then I'd do the other side and then I'd go up and I would do this a few times and I'd ro rotate the kids or yourselves through this uh, in your practice or in your PE class. Second exercise is a sumo squat with a rotation jump in the ladder. You want to land into the next two rungs all the way up, starting in squat, jump, rotate, land, and then back to the front. Kids are cycling through. You want to make sure you land, back to squat. When you get down, drive up and through, push off the toes, rotate in the air, get to the other side. Third exercise, if you're thinking of station works, so you've got kids on the ladder, you got another station, another activity, you can do a third one in a goblet squat. So a goblet squat is a squat with the weight nice and close to your chest. So you can put it underneath the chin and you're down and back up. The elbows are your mark of about where you are. There's your about your 90 degrees and then come back up. I'm a little hesitant bringing up the weights as it is for kids here. So you can grab a smaller yoga ball, much less weight than a dumbbell or a medicine ball, okay? Or you can just teach holding your hands close here or even this with just four pounds and down they go and back up. So they're still teaching the same proper squatting principle. A goblet squat is really nice because it really forces you to keep your chin up, your chest up, push the butt, the butt back and then come on up. So we would do 10 to 12 of those, or for 30 seconds, or through station work, and the partners could cycle through. The fourth exercise, back on the ladder, will be a side shuffle in plank position, both hands going through the rungs. We're not going to cross over. So starting on the outside, plank position, both hands in, and we walk down. And then we race back to the front. As we're going through, we get halfway. The next person would go through. And then we can go down the other way. We could have two lines going along. And then we can have another activity in another location. So those are four really fast, really fun activities. Uh, with ladders, they don't have to be a physical ladder. You can paint them out on the sidewalk. You can paint them in basketball courts or outside basketball courts outside the school. And uh, I've made my own at some points with my own kids using just regular ropes. So these are really good to have. Very quick training tool.
So thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my videos. Uh, check out my blog and my uh, website, simpleexercisesforkids.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next session.